I'm going to go over right quick of some common problems with small engine carburetors. There are the float style. If you don't know the parts that I'm referring to, I don't have my video link below and at the end of the video on how a small engine float type carburetor works. And you can go back view that video and know what, what that part does. First thing I'm going to talk about is fuel flow restriction. One of the biggest common problems is these things, you'll let your lawnmower or any other small engine set up for a long period of time and the fuel will get moisture in it. Well, they'll cause varnishing and, and debris in the carburetor that will gum up the jets. That's one common problem is these jets in the bottom of the bowl will gum up. Also, these passage tubes going up to the throttle body will gum up. And the orifice that sits behind the throttle in here, that's one common problem you'll see with them. Another common problem is the needle and seat, the needle and seat valve. These needle and seats, especially the seat will get dry rotted or damaged or the needle will get varnish and crud on it and it will not properly meter the fuel coming in and it'll flood the carburetor. You'll have a lot of uh, one problem you'll see if the carburetor's flooding because the needle and seat is you'll start getting fuel in the gas, which is another important reason why to check the oil level every time you use a small engine because if that carburetor's leaking fuel through the intake, it goes down into the combustion chamber and gasoline is much thinner than oil, so it will go past the piston rings into the crankcase which would dilute your oil and ruin your engine. Another problem that can cause flooding and cause the needle and seat not to operate properly is a bad float. These floats over time can get hard and cracked. If it gets cracked, it'll leak fuel in here and it'll weight it down and it'll cause the needle and seat to stay open and also flood the carburetor out. Some other problems you may have is the gasket where the intake connects onto the carburetor. They can leak, draw air in, cause a lean mixture, cause it to run lean. You can have fuel leaks around the fuel bowl gasket, which will cause you to lose fuel. Also make sure your choke and throttle are operating properly. Sometimes these linkages can wear out and get slop in them and it's not able to move efficiently. Make sure the choke is fully operable. So that's just a few things to, to keep in mind for if you're having some problems with your small engine carburetor. I hope you find this video helpful. Remember right here I'm going to post a link to the video on how the small engine carburetor works so if you don't know much about them you can learn a little bit more if you like this video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you haven't already done so please subscribe to my channel